Hey, what's up? Welcome to another beer review. Uh, this one is Trader Jose, imported from Mexico. Oh yeah. Now, <clears throat> first off, let's talk about the bottle. Uh, well, you, you get your 11.2 uh, fluid ounces. Yep, yep, that's right, that's right. And uh, what's its ABV? Let's take a look. <gasps> It doesn't say. Now I have, I have a peeve about that. Big peeve about that. The the beer's gotta say, you know, what's its AVB and all that stuff. I I think it's some very important information when choosing a beer at a market or at a store or whatever. Um, I think that's very important uh, statistics that needs to be on the bottle. Now I might be a little picky about that, but uh. I don't know, you tell me about that in the comment below, see if you think, you know, it should be on the glass or not. Number two, it's a clear bottle. The glass is perfectly clear. You can see right through it. Most beers are in, uh, well, most high quality beers are usually in a dark brown uh, bottle. Now, I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, there's there's one there's one theory I'm going at, and I think it's uh, it light affects the alcohol or the affects the the quality of the beer, and um, that's why we brew all our beers in you know non-transparent uh, containers things like that. So I'm assuming because of the light rays or UV or whatever affects the beer itself. But that could be, I don't know, I could be just a theory. Um, of course, I'm no game theorist. I'm just a beer theorist. Let's let's do this. Let's, let's try it out. Uh, get myself a bottle opener. Oh, gotta use my keys this time. All right, let's get this sucker out. Try. Oh, look at that bottle cap. Didn't even open. Look at that shit. Calf opened. Oh, you, I, hmm. What does that tell you? That's a twist up. And I twist it off even with that. Yep, I still can. Alright, let's pour this motherfucker in the glass. Alright, it pours nicely, clearly. Not much of a head retention going. Oh, wait, it's still building. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's a soft white uh, color head. Um, it looks nice. There's no uh, lacing as much. I mean, it's there, but not by much. The glass is very nice. I don't know if you could see. Let's bring it in close. You can see the little bubbles because of the etching in the bottom of the glass is giving me that effect, keeping my head retention going. That's why these glasses cost three, five bucks a pop. All right, so let's drink this sucker. Let's see how it does. It's good. I like it. The color is moderate to heavy amount. Um, it looks like a lemon yellow, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see, let's give it another taste. <sighs> okay, <sighs> it tastes alright. Smells bad. I don't like the smell. I don't like the smell at all. Let's try it again. Yeah, the smell is pretty bad. Actually, finding it uh, the, that some others beyond the the horrible of this stank. Yeah, this stank is it, it's pretty bad. It's it's crisp. That's for sure. It's good when cold. I bet you this beer would taste horrible uh, if it was warm, like bad. Now this is Trader Jose. I'm not sure if Trader Joe's actually uh, brew their beers. I'm sure they uh, they they get it from another company or rebottle some kind of beer or something. But um, it kind of tastes like a Tecate or something. And I, I don't like Tecate actually. It's it's just I don't know. It's not as good as I like you know Corona or Heineken or anything like that. Actually Heineken's not Mexico, is it? I think it's. I'm gonna have to get my facts straight. We'll, uh, I'll put something on the left side this time. We'll put some information about the beer. Um, the ABV is still unknown, but you will see it here on the left side, right about 
Right about. Right about now. <sighs> there he goes. Well, it's got the burp going. I like the burp. See how the, the there's a little island in the middle of bubbles? It's because of the etching in the bottom. Hell yeah, I like that. Okay, definitely not as delicious as most bills, uh, as most beers should be. Um, there's no bitterness, that's for sure. But the aftertaste is kind of tangy, kind of um, dominant in the tangy kind of taste. Uh, I mean, so <clears throat> I had to look it up, find out how much it is at Trader Joe's. You can get. You can get a six pack for five dollars of this, and I'm starting to see why it's five dollars for a uh, for a six pack. I mean, five dollars is cheap. That's pretty cheap for a six pack. So party beer or uh, beer pong beer, I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, it's 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 not great. You just down it real quick and get buzzed. But let's find out. Let me take a look on uh, my computer here and see what how many ABV it is. Wow, not even Beer Advocate knows. I mean, damn, they don't even know. Here, let's, let's give another taste, and maybe we can go off by taste. I know, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be in the fours. That's for sure, it's gotta be fours. 4.3, maybe 4.2, very weak in alcohol. You can barely taste it. Um, it's, I think it's a good cooking beer. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's try, uh, I'm gonna try that one day. Try this as a cooking beer. You know, beer batter, my, uh, my, uh, uh my food and all that stuff. We'll, we'll try that. We'll do a beer, uh, beer uh, batter with this and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, honestly, it's not my favorite. If I'm gonna have to give it a score, it's gonna be ah two. Yeah, this is probably gonna be the lowest re review I've had ever. Um, it's a two. Not my favorite beer. Not gonna, not gonna buy it again. I mean, well, when I cook, maybe I'll buy it again. Just, just, just for, just for the cook. Just for our theorist here. So next, uh, next week, there's gonna be an, uh, a specialty video. Uh, that you guys are gonna fucking enjoy. I'm going to Stone's Brewery with my brother and his uh, good friend, and we're gonna go over there and get drunk. Hopefully, if we go there for the breakfast and beer event part, which happens uh, in the morning at the Stone Brewer in San Diego, and uh, we'll see uh, how that goes. Hopefully, I'll get uh, some opportunities to record a lot of stuff. Um, of course, we're gonna. I'm gonna get the permission from the tour or tourist or whatever uh, so I can record the tour maybe uh, I'll have a little video of that too uh, we'll pay attention look closely and look forward to it and uh, like the video comment share and we'll see you next time should I even finish this thing ah ah done it Whew. <clears throat> See ya.